The three of you walk through a laughter... <laughs> Son of a bitch. The three of you... The three of you walk through a laughter-ridden Ponyville towards Sweet Apple Acres. Applejack is outside, bucking apples as always. Nash flies ahead of you and Pinky to greet her. Gosh, AJ! Don't you ever wish you had a feeling like that wasn't totally repetitive? Applejack raised her eyebrow. Oh, uh, no! Not really! Pinky yelled to her from the back next to you, still about 50 feet away. Well, don't you ever at least wish you weren't a faggot! Pinky snorts in laughter as Applejack shifts her eyes in aggravated confusion. Are y'all here for a reason, or are y'all just looking to bother me? Dash flies right up to her face. I don't know, what do you think, you super rad cut? <laughs> right after saying it, Rainbow Dash lets out one of those obnoxious p -p 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 sounds through her lips for a full five seconds, literally soaking Applejack's face in her lousy saliva before breaking into laughter along with you and Pinky. Applejack eventually lets out a goofy chuckle. Well, Rainbow, you're just lucky my papa's not around no more. If he ever found a homosexual on his property, he'd skin her alive faster than you can say it just ain't natural. Dash falls out of the sky laughing. Holy fuck, this is fun. You want in. Apples are fucking disgusting. The laughter halts. Don't push it, sugar cube. Oh, um... Hey! Let's go get Rarity and Fluttershy and have some more fun! The four of you prance off to keep spreading joy and laughter. You find them both in the Carousel Boutique. Fluttershy starts tearing up at the sight of you, and Rarity defensively hugs her. No, miss. You got some splaying to do. Pinky looks at you and cocks her head. What happened? Oh, yeah. You called Fluttershy a cunt earlier. I called Fluttershy a cunt earlier. Fluttershy whimpers helplessly. Rarity scowls. Now why do you say something like that, old Flushy? Kinda true sometimes. Rainbow Dash joins in. And now it's Flash Fluttershy. Maybe you cut your tail shorter like the rest of us so we didn't drag it and shit covered ground all day. You wouldn't smell like Applejack's asshole. That one irked Rarity. That is quite enough. If you boots must go around bitting on ponies, I ask you to and keep it away from dear Flushy. Oh, come on. You're practically asking for it. Pinky tags in. Okay. Hey, Rarity! Is your name supposed to be ironic? Because I think that, like, half the stallions in town have had you! Rarity's jaw drops. And like a quarter of the mares! Well, at least I can get that kind of attention. I bet no point could find your puss or not that you want to. Sorry, Rarity. Try again. Daisy already did that one. Rarity jerked in confusion. What? Daisy? Why the question we all go with Daisy? Everyone's insulting each other. It's fun. Rarity turns up her nose. <laughs> that doesn't sound any kind of fun I've ever heard of. Um, Anon, you're a faggot. You, Pinky Dash, and Applejack all turn towards Fluttershy with massive smiles. Rarity gasps in disgust. Fluttershy! Doin! What'd you just say? He's a faggot. Anon is a faggot. Fluttershy wasn't even laughing. She was just confidently looking at everyone in the room. This is the best ride ever. Why am I a faggot, Fluttershy? I really want to know. Even Rarity was interested at this point. Yes, dear. Please do elaborate. Um, okay. Fluttershy takes a deep breath as you prepare for what may possibly end up being the best 30 seconds of your life. Well, for starters, Anon, it's really uncomfortable how insecure you are. You always just follow Twilight around with your hands in your pockets and watch every pony else interact. I mean... I know it might be a little hypocritical coming from me, but at least I stay in my house most of the time. You pretty much force every pony to see how awkward you are. And the only reason Twilight doesn't mind is because she's kind of awkward too and doesn't understand it. And what makes it even worse is how obvious it is when you look at every pony's rear ends all the time. 
I know you're probably lonely, and I'm sorry, but just because you're attracted to us doesn't mean we're ever going to be attracted to you. We won't. So you should just... So you should just come to terms with that now. We shouldn't be made to feel guilty over your... We shouldn't be made to feel guilty over your sexual frustration. And the only reason no one's brought it up in the past is because you're a guest. And the only reason no one's brought it up in the past is because you're a guest. And no one wants to make you feel unwelcome or look like they're discriminating against you. But the fact is, Anon, it kind of feels like you're overstaying your welcome a little bit. You've been mooching off a toilet for a while now, and unless you start actually contributing to the community, ponies are going to start getting more and more bothered by you. I mean, were you this lazy before you got here? Did you just sit around and do nothing all day? Well, if you did, then that has to change if you plan on staying here. We're not just here so you can look around and stare at us all day. We're not just here for your entertainment, okay? So, that's why I think you're a faggot and on. It's because you're lazy, useless, and perverted. Everyone silently stares at you. You've never felt such a powerful combination of pain and excitement. After ten seconds of quiet, Rarity runs up and gets right in your face. Do you hear that, Enormous? You are a foggy! The tension vanishes as everyone, even Rarity and Fluttershy, break into a hearty laugh. See? I told you she was a cunt. Pinky nudges your leg. Speaking of Twilight, where'd she go? You promptly look at Applejack and raise your eyebrows. Oh, we ran her out of town to- Pinky gasps. What? Why? She called Scootaloo a worthless cripple in front of half the ponies in town. Among other things. Oh, okie dokie loki. You feel a teensy bit guilty about Twilight's situation and all of this. You could just abandon her, but you feel slightly obligated to help her out. You figure the best thing to do is to try and bring this new ride to her and see how it pans out. Wanna go color a cunt? She says a chorus. As good a plan as any. Applejack looks you right in the eye. More than anything in the world, Anon. The six of you head out towards the Everfree, and Fluttershy walks beside you. Um, do, do you hate me now? Hate you? No. Do I think you're a dirty cunt? Eh, you better fucking believe it. She shyly grins, as if you just called her a pretty or something. What the fuck is happening in Ponyville? Applejack looks back towards you. By the way, Sugar Cube, do y'all know what got into Twilight making her say all that? Lol, maybe. No, I'm not really sure. It kind of came out of the blue. Would you look at that? You're a huge jackass. Dash began flying backwards in front of you, now facing you. Whatever it was, hopefully she's over it now. It was like every word out of her mouth was an insult. What a fucking bitch, am I right? The girls casually laughed, seemingly missing the irony. When you get to Sakura's house, Twilight must have heard you coming. She slowly emerges from the front door, wearing a menacing smile. Some pony's a little upset. Sakura urgently slams the door behind Twilight, suggesting that Twilight just put her through hell. Anon! Why are you brought guests? Well, life was fun while it lasted. Twilight, I can explain. Twilight, you are a massive cunt! God damn it, Applejack. And non, you didn't follow the plan. Twilight. You didn't follow the plan, Anon. What are they doing here? Apparently she's been realizing the magnitude of the situation. Do you want the truth? No, Anon, I want you to lie to me. Of course I want the truth! We're here because Applejack wanted to call you a cunt. Everyone but Twilight laughs. Twilight's eye twitches. Apparently she's in no mood for jokes. You're laughing! Why are you laughing? Applejack chuckles. Cause you're a cunt. Twilight growls. Pinky bounces over to Twilight and drapes a hoof over her shoulder. Come on, Twilight. It's funny. Funny! It's funny now! When I insult Rainbow Dash, she physically assaults me, but when you do it, it's funny! 
Dash recoils defensively, then starts looking a little guilty. Well, we changed our mind! Any traces of laughter subside as everyone starts understanding how pissed Twilight must be. Just calm down, Twilight. Why don't we just put all this behind us and try to make amends? That would be great for you, wouldn't it, Anon? Try to trick me into becoming public enemy number one, let me get run out of town, and then just call it even? Uh, yeah. You forgot this was all your fault. Pinky looks at you and cocks her head. I'm confused. Oh yeah. No one knows this was your fault. Well, fuck. How are you going to get out of this one? Twilight, I get that you're mad, but I have a solution. She raises an eyebrow. I know you have a lot of bottled up aggression. So how about we all let you tear us a new asshole? Just say all the shit to us that you wanted to say for years, and then we go back to how everything was before this started. We'll help you fix your house and everything. There's no way she'll settle for that. You can see Twilight's gears grinding. Her face slowly turns to an evil smile. Fine. What, really? Yes, really. You turn to the other five. Is that cool with everyone? They all gently shrug and nod compliantly. Wow. You can't believe that worked. 